Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. After reviewing the Catalyst Machine Works Merica X frame and bench testing the Brother Hobby Avenger 2816 motors, in this video I'm going to build this 9 inch micro quadcopter and share with you some flight footage from its maiden flight. In order to assemble this build, I recommend to start by securing the motors to the arms using the provided longer hex screws and preferably use heat rings on the arms in order to protect the motor wires. Then mount the 4-in-1 ESC on the bottom plate. Solder the motor wires to the 4-in-1 ESC. Don't forget to add a capacitor and solder the battery leads. Connect the harness that is going to connect the 4-in-1 ESC to the flight controller. Assemble the arms and the top plate. Before mounting the flight controller on top of the 4-in-1 ESC, I recommend to connect it to a radio receiver and solder the wires that are going to be connected to a VTX. In case you're going to use an Immortal T antenna, you can use this accessory which is available separately and by the way I recommend to use the longer version of this antenna. In this build I'm using the Cadex Nebula Pro system which is mounted inside the canopy. Since the USB Type-C connector of the Vista unit is blocked by the canopy, I recommend to first activate the Vista unit, update it to the latest available version and only then mount it inside the canopy using the provided M2 screws on the top 20 by 20 millimeters mounting holes. Now as you can see this build is ready. And by the way, in addition to the Catalyst Machine Works Merica X 9 inch frame and the Brother Hobby Avenger 2816-1050 kV motors, in this build I'm using the Cadex Nebula Pro system, the HQ Prop Macro Quad 9 inch propellers, and the ZIS F7 stack which helps to keep everything nice and tidy so basically, by releasing the four hex screws that are securing the canopy to the top plate, you'll be able to service the electronic components of the build. By now I assume that you're already wondering what's the weight of this massive build. Without a battery, it weighs 832 grams, and the total weight, including this CNHL 5200 mAh 6S battery, is 1 kg and 642 grams. Now in case you have previously built a racing or a freestyle quadcopter that is bigger than 7 inch, you know that they are pretty easy to build, however the hardest thing is actually to tune them. Luckily Neil from Catalyst Machine Works sent me his dump file which is going to be included down below and I'm pleased to tell you that the maiden flight went very well, so it might require you to do some small modifications but it will give you a very good head start. I'm going to wrap up this quick video with some footage from the maiden flight and you can definitely expect to see at least one more video of this build because I'm going to mount an action camera on top of it and provide you with some interesting HD footage. Overall I think that this type of build is definitely not for everyone as first of all it's expensive, just the battery on its own costs about $80, it is also pretty dangerous, this is not something that you would like to fly next to people, so you should be careful in case you are going to build something like that. And I think that the reward after building it is to hear the sound of the motors and when you fly it you are feeling that something is different, even though controlling it is pretty much identical to controlling any other type of quadcopter, you feel that you are flying a monster and when you are just passing by next to you, you can hear that something very big is in the air. So I think it's something that is more of a novelty, but if you can afford it and if you can be careful enough, maybe you can give it a try. Now I'm going to show the flight footage and as always, if you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments section down below. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up if you like this video and consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notifications bell if you're not already subscribed. See you on my next videos and goodbye.